Hello, my name's Sam Hooper. I'm one of the senior engineers here at Hariba Myra. Behind me is Hariba Myra's original climatic wind tunnel, one of the leading wind tunnels in the UK and in Europe, otherwise known as CWT-1. This facility was built in 1993 and enables us to bring the searing heat of the Nevada desert, the sapping humidity of the tropics, and the solidifying cold of an Arctic winter right to the center of the UK. Let's take a look inside. So welcome to the CWT-1 control room. In this facility we can test passenger cars, commercial vehicles, military equipment and even motorbikes. We've also done outdoor clothing uh, and even the occasional television and film work. So the typical testing that can be done in a climatic wind tunnel includes powertrain cooling, HVAC development as well as human comfort. We're also able to do range and emissions testing with WLTC cycles and EPA federal procedures. Um, including the SCO3 solar array testing. We're also able to do driven rain and snow packing. So often we get quite um, tight timing constraints from customers. So we had a customer a few weeks ago approach us about doing some testing on a very short time scale because of uh, a gateway they needed to meet. And um, so that was something we were able to help them with by altering other test dates, uh, moving other customers around so that everyone got the testing they required. We have some customers that have a multi-year framework agreement with us so they'll be looking at booking over a year in advance, which is important to them so they can factor in vehicle build and when vehicles will be available for testing. But we had a customer come to us a few weeks ago that were requiring testing to be done the following week. And uh, by talking with our customers, communicating clearly, we were able to clear some shifts for them so they were able to meet their gateway. So we're now starting to see more electric and hybrid vehicles come and use the facility. Uh, this is something we've worked very hard on developing safe working systems and good procedures so we can test those vehicles in a safe environment for not only our staff but for customers and their engineers as well. We also have a soaking chamber attached to the facility which enables us to precondition multiple other vehicles uh, allowing customers to make most of the time they've got in the main test section. So we get a whole range of different exciting vehicles in here from the latest hypercars and one-off luxury performance cars. We also get off-highway work We've even had rail in here, we've had the front of a train looking at snow packing onto the horn system. Our approach here in the Climatic Wind Tunnel to helping customers is one to try and be flexible with them and support when required. So if a customer does require us to stay late, that's an option we can look at. Also, short notice bookings are always something we're keen to help with. Looking towards the future and the development of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, we're working with our customers closely to develop efficient and safe test plans for them to bring those vehicles here as well. Now we've seen the control room, let's take a look in the main test section. We're able to create temperatures from plus 55 degrees centigrade down to minus 40 degrees centigrade in this facility. We also control the wind speed in this configuration up to 150 kilometers an hour. And then we have a nozzle insert that sits inside the aperture and allows us to get up to 200 kph. We can control the humidity from about 95% down to about 15%. Uh, we also have a solar array above us which can produce up to 1400 watts per meter squared and is compliant to the SCO3 emission standard. Um, we can also control the bulbs individually and ramp that output to simulate how the sun's energy rises and falls through the day. And below us we have a chassis dynamometer that's four wheel drive. We can alter the wheelbase to fit a whole magnitude of different vehicles in here. And we can use that either to hold fixed force or a fixed speed, uh, or by putting in some of the characteristics of the vehicle from the Rogo model, which is often collected there on our proving ground. Uh, we can apply the resistive forces that that power train can see in the real world. Down in the aperture behind us is where we bolt our snow cannon that blows atomised water into the air. At freezing temperatures, it creates a very fine snow powder, um, which is the worst case for snow packing, the worst conditions a vehicle would see. It's actually developed to simulate snow that's already fallen and been thrown back into the air by the tyres of the HGV. So what makes this tour a little bit different is we're actually going to take you behind the scenes and show you the inner workings of the facility. In order for the facility to be able to maintain low temperatures such as minus 40 for, for an extended period of time, we have an 800 kilowatt ammonia refrigeration system fitted. 
This coupled with a heat transfer loop pumping fluid through a heat exchanger within the main test section allows us to be able to control the temperature. We're right above the main test section now where the main fan is situated. So behind the fan blade, there's a 400 kilowatt motor hidden inside of the cell that can spin the whole assembly up to 1200 RPM. And that's what generates the 200 kilometers an hour of wind speed. You're quite privileged to see this actually, as not many people get the chance to come up here. CWT1 is one of 40 major facilities on our Nuneaton site, which is conveniently located right in the heart of the UK, near many major UK airports and easily accessible by car and train as well. One of the biggest issues faced by a lot of our customers in these facilities is actually caused by the vagaries of the weather itself. We've had customers before spend a lot of time, effort and money shipping vehicles and people to far-flung places all over the planet to try and achieve a certain climatic condition, only to get there and not get anywhere near the temperatures that they require. In these facilities, we are able to guarantee that they'll get the climatic conditions they need to conduct the testing that they have to do in order to meet certain targets and pass certain gateways. So one of the main benefits of a facility such as this is that we can create reliable and repeatable test conditions um, time and time again, which allows us to provide data to customers that is always repeatable um, and gives them the best possible accuracy with what they're looking to achieve. Confidentiality is a key factor to a lot of Hariba Myra's customers. So not only do we operate a fully confidential site, but also facilities like the CWTs are fully confidential. So we can actually have two customers, two separate customers working in here at the same time, completely separate from one another without seeing either vehicles or test data. So with the current global situation and the coronavirus pandemic, it's now even more important for our customers to minimise travel. So we're actually offering in these facilities a remote testing option where if customers are able to provide us with a vehicle, we can fully instrument and prepare whatever it is um, for a test programme, which we can then run, collect data, also have live video of the testing so the customer can see what's happening um, and then provide all the data and engineering reports at the end. Although quite a lot of the work that we do in the facilities is final sign-off, it's also equally important uh, to conduct validation and correlation work within the, this facility. We have a thermal engineering team based in a facility just next door to CWT1 um, where they're working on novel engineering um, solutions for, for future powertrains and the cooling that they would be required. They very often use our facilities in order to validate and correlate their models to make sure they're getting the most accurate results. Although many of our customers uh, come with, to us with a completed test specification, we also get requests to, to fully create a test specification from scratch. So we actually did some testing in one of our climatic facilities for a pharmaceutical company, looking at developing a drive cycle for a van uh, and monitoring the temperature of the pharmaceutical products in the cargo bay. So that was something that was introduced by the government. They had no idea where to start. And we were actually able to help them by generating a full test spec um, which has now become an industry standard and testing their vans to make sure that they, they met the criteria. As well as CWT1, we also have another climatic wind tunnel, CWT2, that's designed primarily for off-highway equipment and commercial vehicles. It has very similar temperature capabilities. Uh, wind speed we can get up to 120 kph, which is most requirements for commercial vehicles. We also have a two-wheel drive chassis dynamometer and again control over the humidity and solar loading. We're also able to do driven rain testing in that facility and we use water mixed with a UV dye solution, high-speed cameras and UV lamps to track how the water flows over certain components. For example, we do a lot of A-pillar overflow and also wing mirror cover design. We can also even do windscreen wiper performance. That concludes our tour of season T1. I hope you found it informative. If you have any further questions, you can find answers on our website.